what would you like your final message to your son be? Son, it's your mother. They're telling me this is it, so I thought I'd make you a little video uh, to let you know that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. This is it. I'm gonna miss you so much. You know, sometimes we had our relationship was on and off, you know. Growing up, it was hard, you know. Remember when you took all that, that testosterone stuff, I don't know, you like, when you were lifting weights, you got so angry. And we got through that. I remember that. Um, is there a, a moment that, you know, makes you the most proud about your son? Oh, there's so many. Why do you think the... You think the most proud I was when he stood up with... He stood up for me. When his father was being angry at me. And he stood up for me and... And, uh, and we left. I think that was the, the proudest moment because I knew he loved me and I knew that we could trust each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, when he graduated high school, when he graduated college, when he went on to the armed forces, those are always all proud moments. What was uh, the scariest moment that you've had? Oh, when he was first born, he almost died. He was in an incubator and he couldn't breathe. He had something wrong with his throat. And, uh, but he made it through. Mm -hmm. He made it through. He was a fighter. That scared me. I thought, oh my God, I went all through this, all this work. And this little guy's going to not be a part of my life. That was scary. <laughs> Are there uh, any special moments that you can recall that would put a smile on his face? Any moments that oh, you guys yeah. shared? Yeah. Uh -oh. <coughs> the first time we went to, because we used to make a lot of trips to Yellowstone. Uh huh. And that became like an every year thing. I really hope you do that with your family, honey. Take them there. That, that in Yosemite, we always used to go to those places. Take your family there. I would have missed not seeing you have a family. <laughs> I'm not gonna be there for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my biggest regret, is that I won't be able to be there for him. <laughs> when he has a whole family. I'm so going to miss you getting married. <laughs> we always talked about that. <laughs> Are there uh, any... Is there a certain memory that makes you the most happy that you can think about the, between the two, two of you? You know, when his grandma was really sick, he got his Marty book out. And he started telling her that he, he wanted to sing songs with her. <laughs> and she couldn't hear him. She was already sick. But he just sang to her. 
of Suis. Um, is there a, a special quote or a, or a saying that you, you, you can give to him for him to live on to and, you know, pass down to his future children? Yes. It was always it was always a sign we we always said to thy own self be true. Wow. You know, and uh, just be real. And I hope you find happiness in the world, son. <coughs> and I'll miss you. Absolutely. Are there any special? scents or any special colors that you know whenever you you uh, see it or smell it that you just you instantly think Marcus purple 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 for royalty uh-huh purple for Barney <laughs> probably sunflowers and sunflowers mm -hmm. sunflowers make us happy <laughs> yeah and I hope they make your children happy too, son. Always think about me. Tell them about me. Absolutely. Don't let them not know I love them even though they're not born yet. I'm sorry we didn't talk for a few years. Life just became more important. I bet he will understand, Marcy. Um, is there a, a special message uh, that you want him to hear for the last time? I'm kind of sick, man. I'm try to sing a little song. A little song? Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe I'll do it later. You can sing it if you'd like. Okay. I love you, you love me. We're 